A very warm welcome everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Nick and we're looking at Blue Thunder on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Richard Wilcox Software in 1984. It's another one of these helicopter shooters in the vein of Airwolf. Now this one also is based on a TV show called, uh, well, Blue Thunder that aired the same time as Airwolf, but this one didn't last very long because Airwolf absolutely killed it in the ratings. The TV show only lasted for one season and had 11 episodes in 1980. 84, which the game also came out in 84 as well. So we start off in this helicopter here, which uh, doesn't look like Blue Thunder at all, and we must scroll, it's another one scrolling right to left, mm. we must get past all these gun turrets and rescue people at the end, I think. This time this time we have to destroy a nuclear reactor, so let's try and glide through here, uh, and we've been killed. Hooray! Yes. Now, Blue Thunder in the TV show, uh, no, this isn't working. Had a support vehicle which followed it around called Rolling Thunder, and inside that was a desert camouflage attack vehicle. I don't think this is going to feature in this game. This looks more like Budgie the Helicopter than an attack a super jet helicopter fighter. Now, Airwolf, as I said, was cancelled just after 11 shows, because stupidly they put it on the same time as... What happened there? As Dallas, which was on uh, another channel. The Nincompoops. Anyway, let's concentrate on this 8-bit helicopter game. Is it as good as Airwolf? Well, the Airwolf games weren't particularly great. Uh, this, um, the movement of this reminds me a little bit of Harrier Attack, so it's in that sort of um, vein. Um, it's not great, is it? Anyway, let's, let's see if we can complete a mission. Mission 1, score 0, one copter left. I do know a cheat for this game, as per usual, or a poke, as you will, for infinite lives. If I don't get very far, we'll uh, try and get that. So, OK, we're making a bit of distance here. I can't remember the theme music of Blue Thunder. It wasn't as exciting as Airwolf, and that's probably why it didn't capture kids' imagination as much. But two helicopter shows on at the same time, only one was going to survive. Uh, one season only. I, thought, I think there might have been a Blue Thunder movie, perhaps. Yeah, so I've died there. That wasn't very good. Richard Wilcox Software, 1986. You can choose a keyboard or the Kempston uh, joystick, uh, or any joystick, really. And this is just for one player, I'm afraid. Here we go. Did I say 1986? 1984 has come out, sorry. Same, same year as the TV show. 11 episodes, that isn't very long. So they very quickly knew they was onto a loser. And it's probably quite a costly show to make at the time, hiring the, uh, the uh, helicopter and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, don't know the... Um, I did listen to the Blue Thunder music before this uh, video to see if I could hum it during it, but I, I've instantly forgot it. It's not a memorable one. Not like the Airwolf one, which goes etc. I might have missed out a bar there, but uh, Blue Thunder, no, that's non plus. Same sort of thing though, each week there was attacking bad guys, uh, and that was about it. If you've completed this game, then let me know. I'm not quite sure what other systems it came out on, probably the Commodore 64 and the Android CPC, do not know, or maybe it was just cancelled after just 11 copies. Right, this is the first we've got, I think. Get over this, just go like that. Yes, it didn't attack. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine, we got past that thing. Is that gun turret going to shoot at me? No. Must be near the end now, surely. Now, this copter apparently can contain 16 uh, people, so we have to rescue them, I presume. What a slow helicopter this is. Right, can we get past that thing? We're going over the sea. I'm not sure the scenery changes on mission two. What's this? Right, now we've got to shoot this nuclear reactor thing. That's the nuclear sign going up. Why can't I shoot it? Fire button turns your helicopter in different directions. Oh, come on, let me shoot. Shoot, shoot. Maybe it doesn't let you shoot it. Fire button and direction, no. Maybe we have to go back a bit. Oh man, this game's frustrating. It's basic, it's quite cute to be honest with you. 1984, early 80s, and I'm dead again. Right, I think it's time to put some cheats in for infinite lives, because uh, I want to at least see what happens at the end of level one. Hmm. Deary me. Deary, deary, deary me. Blue Thunder. We're certainly looking at a few helicopter games and a few TV shows. I haven't come across a decent uh, TV licensed tie-in game for quite a while. 
Oh, Airwolf wasn't great. Knight Rider was poor. I think Dukes of Hazard is on the list. Our Free Design Pet and a few others. I don't think there was a Full Guy uh, one, no. Or Space 1999, that was a good show. Why hasn't that made it to 8-bit gaming? Maybe it has. But I just haven't seen it. Yeah. I don't know why this reminds me of Harrier Attack. I mean, Harrier Attack is based on the Falklands War. Something about it. it scrolls quite well though. This it's not um it's not flashing about, so that's quite nice. Quite often you'd get a Spectrum game, especially control uh, program in Basic, it'll flicker a bit. This scrolls quite smoothly. You see your fuel there on the right by that yellow bar gradually going down. If we run out of that, the helicopter will explode, I believe. Can't ditch it into the sea. This is the lowest we can go. So yeah. Right, we're at the end again, so we've got this bit clocked. Can we shoot this nuclear thing? Come on. Oh, why can't I fire stuff? Maybe you've only got one bullet and I've let it go already. Three copters left. Helicopter sound is as expected. This is the blue thunder. Oh, no. Homing missile to the back waters. Now we've got to do it all again, right. So you die, you've got to start straight away again. I don't know why we start off on an aircraft carrier, because that isn't in uh, Blue Thunder to my knowledge. Oh man. Right, hang on a minute. Maybe we can go backwards. Forwards is the way. We might try backwards a bit later on. Right, over that turret. That's that one forward. Got over that. Right, so go in low and just go high briefly over the turret and then back low again. Confuse it. Ow! Oh, yeah! Blue thunder. Blue rage more like. Right, backwards. Forwards. Um, I don't think I ever watched a full uh, show of Blue Thunder. I seem to remember there was a machine gun on the bottom of the uh, the helicopter that did all the, all the main damage. But I'd like to see a battle of Airwolf versus Blue Thunder. Who would win that? Airwolf's got better music and probably better maneuverability. Uh, yeah. But the graphics of Blue Thunder on this are poor. Uh, the graphics on Airwolf were better, although the gameplay wasn't as good. This is a little bit more addictive, I suppose, but neither of them are sensational. When we do the top six roundup each month, um, um, it's unlikely to get in the top six, but who knows? It, I might think about it later on and uh, yeah, right. Well, so we'll go backwards. It doesn't matter if you go forwards or backwards on this. There we go. Let's go backwards for luck. You see the propeller there? That's good animation, making it look like it's flickering around. Not a state-of-the-art helicopter, this one, as in the show. We'd like to see some sharks turning up, perhaps, grabbing the uh, helicopter. Right, this last bit doesn't seem to be too bad. We need to destroy that nuclear stuff. Need to practice firing or something, because nothing's happening here. Right, got over that. Right, good. What are the chances? I don't think I'm going to complete level one, am I? That's quite a poor show. But I've, sh I've shown you basically how this game works. Right, okay. Right. Can we shoot this nuclear thing somehow? Because I can't go any nearer to it. Oh, I got it! What the hell's that? A box has turned up. Right, okay, now what? Um, What do we do here? probably have to blow it up somehow. I'm finding firing's tough. I can't go back the other way. I thought I might have to return to base. Can I shoot that? Maybe I can just go into it, can I? No, you can't go into it. And we have to start all over again. Score 2150. So that's the furthest we've got so far. I think maybe we have to somehow shoot that thing. Right, here we go. Like I, t like I told you the last time, I'll do it. Like I told you the last time, right. Uh, come on. We can do this thing. What do you think of this game? Good, terrible, addictive, cute. I, I, I've put it in the category of nostalgia, cuteness. It doesn't matter that you haven't seen the show Blue Thunder. Uh, in all intents and purposes, it's just a tactical helicopter game where you must get to the end and blow up the, uh, the boss thing or whatever that big yellow thing is that pops up. It's alright, I suppose, but don't, don't think about Blue Thunder. If you try and bring Blue Thunder in, it's a terrible TV licence. Just think about it as a game on its own. I think maybe they thought about the TV licence later on. They programmed this and thought, right, what can we call it? Let's call it Airwolf. Oh no, Airwolf's already been done. Let's. Well, what other helicopter things are there? Well, we've got Budget the Helicopter, which this thing looks like. 
or we've got a uh, blue thunder oh blue thunder's good a helicopter's blue right okay this is as far as we got before can we shoot that yes we shot that right okay now that gun turret is going to we have to go in there i suppose do we go down there and low we have to go in and drop a bomb i guess this looks way too tricky right that's how you drop bombs uh mm, this is tricky got to maneuver my helicopter in there i can't go back the other way as we've we've found out uh, a cheat for immunity would be quite good. I'm not. This is beyond my skill level. I'm not going to be able to get in here. Let's try and line up. Line up and then drop a bomb. Oh, look at my fuel, folks. The fuel's not looking great. We're almost out of fuel and, and we've run out of fuel. And we know what happens when a helicopter runs out of fuel. It explodes. Yes. Well, you know, I think we've probably seen enough of that one now. Hope you liked having a look at it. It was Blue Thunder on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Richard Wilcox Software in 1984 and based on the TV show of the same name. If you've got any comments about this game, any similar games or um, TV shows or retro gaming, then you're more than welcome to put those below. Always love hearing from you and it gives the uh, the channel some sort of like, uh, well, volume and vibe. Is that a word? I don't know. So thanks for watching again and until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.